We continue to take a look at our friendly neighborhood star this month. Thursday officially marks the first day of summer, also known as the summer solstice. The term solstice even includes the Latin term for sun, which is sol. During the summer solstice, the northern hemisphere is tilted as far as it can go towards the sun. This leads to all sorts of impacts on our weather and climate. The sun's angle with the horizon is roughly 70 degrees in the summer, meaning we get more direct light and energy from the sun. This heats up the atmosphere a lot quicker than it would during the fall or winter. During the fall, the angle is closer to 50 degrees, while the winter is around 25 degrees above the horizon. Sunlight is a lot less direct and weaker during these times, leading to colder weather. We typically get about 15 hours of daylight during the summer, which means there's a lot more time to heat up the air when we have those longer days. Interestingly enough, we are farther away from the sun during the summer. In the winter, we are much closer to the sun in Earth's orbit, but that tilt of the Earth towards the sun is more than enough to make up for being farther away from the sun itself. Until next time, for WeatherWise, I'm Alex Kirchner.